Hey everyone, my name is Cyprian. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to line a hat with ear flaps. So let's get started. Okay, let's gather all our supplies together. You're going to need some fabric for lining your hat. And I'm going to link a video below and it's going to help you make those choices when you're trying to pick a fabric that best suits your hat and your environment. You're going to need a marker, thread, needle, a good pair of scissors, liquid stitch, and a stitch marker. Okay, and of course, your hat. <laughs> All right, so I have my fabric here, and I have it laid out so that the right sides are facing each other. And how you can tell the right side from the wrong side is the right side is gonna be the pretty side. So in my case, it has a nice texture to it, kind of a fuzzy texture, and if you can't see it, the back side is plain, feels more like a nylon. So you're going to face the nice sides together and you're going to fold it over so that you have a fold here. And that's very important when lining the ear flap hat. Okay, so on my designs I set the ear flaps back a little bit and that's so that they'll sit at the front of your ear and not be hanging over your cheek very much. And so what you want to do is you just want to take a stitch marker and just mark the front of your hat. And then that way, if it's not very obvious, you know as you're working which side is which. Okay, so we are going to lay the front of the hat against the fold. The reason we do that is that we don't want a seam going down the middle of the forehead once the liner is put in. So we have our hat here. We've got it laying against the fold and then coming around. And make sure that this is the wrong side that you're working on because when you trace, if you trace it on the right side and once you attach your liner, you might end up seeing the lines from the marker. Okay, I've chosen a brown marker. I'm using a light colored material. If you've chosen a dark one, I would recommend just grabbing a piece of chalk and using chalk to trace it. Also, sometimes when I'm lining my hats, I don't even trace it. There's enough nap that the two pieces generally will stay together and I can just cut the outside around. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna trace the hat and we're gonna work about, I'm gonna say about three quarters of an inch out from the hat. So, yep, right about here. Okay, and so we just mark it. You can mark it with dots or a solid line all the way around. And I wanted to show you how easy it is to, even to line a hat that already has a pom-pom on it. So we're just gonna move the pom-pom out of the way and start over here. Okay, and we'll just join these here. Now when it comes to the bottom of the hat and the ear flaps, we're chasing, we are going to trace much closer to the hat. So you want to be careful. I have a cream color hat. I don't want to get marker on it. So just be very careful when you're drawing the line here. And from the ear flap. down to the bottom and also I wanted to show you how easy it is to to line the hats even if they've got the ties on them okay and I'm just doing that so that's the outline of your hat and essentially what we're doing is we're making a secondary hat to go inside of the first hat so the next thing we're gonna do is just cut the hat out and I'll fast forward through this part so that you don't have to watch the boring bits but this is where it's really important to have a nice pair of scissors to use because if you're trying to cut fabric with the same scissors that you generally use just to snip your yarn, it's gonna be a whole different feel and you're gonna be struggling um, with getting this fabric cut out. Fleece is not bad, it's fairly easy to work with, but I would invest in a nice pair of scissors. I'm in Canada, so we really only have um, uh, Michaels here, but I always use the coupon. I use my coupon for these this set too, and they're awesome. I actually hide them from my family so that nobody can use them. Okay, so we're almost done here. Okay, so that's done. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna wanna do with this hat is we're gonna want to attach these edges. Now, if you have a sewing machine and you're a sewer, of course, grab your sewing machine. It is the best way to do it. But when I do these videos, I assume that you guys are crocheters and you don't have the equipment that other people have. So I use a product called Liquid Stitch. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Perfect. 
Um, I've been using this for 10 years and it is amazing. I have been lining hats and I wash my hats all the time because I have kids that get them filthy dirty and nothing has ever come undone with this. I also use it um, if I'm doing character hats. I actually, what I do is I'll put the eyes of the mouth and I attach them with this. It holds them in place so that when I stitch them on, it's just easier and they're not sliding about. Okay. So what we're going to do, again, we keep the, the material facing each other, the right sides together, and we're just going to get a tiny bit of this and work it around. Now don't use too much. It's not going to make for a better end product. It's just going to make it dry longer. And uh, you just need a little bit, just so that it's covered. Okay, and then you just fold it back over. Give it a little press and all the way around. So again, you can fast forward. I will put a little timestamp in the description so you can skip to the next the next part, not have to watch me, or you can stay with me and listen to me ramble. <laughs> okay, so you just want to make sure that there's no spaces, because if there's spaces between where you put the glue, those will show up as holes once the hat is, uh, the liners turned right side out. So make sure that your coverage with the glue is continuous, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna press that together. Now give that at least a good hour to dry. Don't rush it. If you rush it, your hat, your liner could be, the seams might open up when you're trying to put it together. So you don't. So my liner has completely dried now and we're gonna leave it so that the right sides are facing each other. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the hat, and this is the front side, the front of the hat, and the front of the hat here, again, you can tell because this area is bigger. And we're just gonna slide the hat inside the liner with the right sides facing each other. So the right sides of the hat are touching. Okay, now at this point, if you wanna grab pins to hold your liner in place, by all means do. I find really with the fleece and the, uh, the yarn, things stick pretty well, so generally you don't need to. And all we're gonna do, I've got the pom-pom here, just pull that down. You don't have to worry about the top of the hat, we're not attaching that, we're just attaching the bottom and the sides, okay? So the next thing we wanna do is we just wanna mark the liner an opening. We wanna mark a spot for the opening. So we'll just do it here in here and that's the area that we're going to leave open because we're going to have to flip this hat right side out so we want to make sure that we have enough space okay so i have my needle and thread here and all we're going to be doing now is attaching the liner to the hat we're going to be taking fairly small stitches because we do want the hat to be secure now i go from the bottom through the liner and back down and of course, usually I would be using the same color as my hat or the liner, but for demonstration purposes, I'm using the beige. Now this is the best way to sew the hat um, because if you go, I'm gonna show you something. If you go around like this, and I will for a couple of stitches so I can show you, the stitches are gonna show up on the opposite side. And I'm gonna show you this right now, okay? So you can see here how they're gonna show up. So you wanna be working those stitches up and down through the liner. So down like this and up through the bottom. And that is gonna be your tidiest way if you're hand sewing this. If you're using machine, I suggest you put something, a paper or something under the knitted part so it doesn't get caught in your feed. So I'm just gonna work these stitches all the way down to the ear flap. And I'm making fairly tiny ones. The tinier your stitches, the more secure your liner is gonna be. And then I'll show you what to do when we get to the ear flap here. I'll, I, I'm gonna fast forward this part so you don't have to watch me. But I will have timestamps in the description for everything. So if there's anything that you wanna rewind back to, you can just click on the, um, the time that I have listed and that'll take you to the portion of the video that you want to see. Okay, so we're just going to slide this down because it's slipping up a little bit. 
Okay, when I decided to make this video on how to line a hat with ear flaps, I thought it was really important that I demonstrate how it be done on a hat that already has the ties attached. I'm assuming a lot of people are gonna be lining, lining hats that they already have made. So what we have to do, we've, I've come down the side of the ear flap and I'm now at the part where the tie attaches to the hat. What we have to do at this point is slip the tie in between the liner and the hat because it has to be on the right side when we flip the hat right side out. Okay. So I've come all the way down the side here and now what we're doing is we're just folding over the tip, the tip of the liner and we're gonna bring it up so that it lines up. Here's the knots. It's just gonna line up at the top of the knots and then we're gonna take little stitches and we're gonna work back and forth like we've been doing all along. Okay, so we're just gonna come out the other side of that liner and back through. And just make sure that you're hooking the yarn so that it's secure, okay? Back through to the other side. It's not that difficult, it's just a little bit finicky. Um, but again, I thought it was really important that I show you how to do this on a hat that already has the ties. Okay, so just flip that over so you can see where you're coming out the other side. We're going to catch that yarn and we're going to work that all the way across. And you're going to see how pretty this looks and how tidy this actually will look on the finished product. If you have any tips and tricks for lining hats or how you do it with ties, I would love to hear it. So um, if you have a chance, just post in the comments below and I'm sure everybody would love to hear how it's done. Okay, so we're just on our last stitch here. Okay, and then we're going to continue and you're just going to tuck the, sorry, tuck the tie in a little bit so that's not catching when you continue down the side of the ear flap. Okay, so we're just going to continue all the way down into the back of the hat. So I'll meet up with you when we're ready to flip the hat the right side out. I'm at the back of the hat now and all I'm doing um, is just adding a few extra stitches back and forth to make that last stitch extremely secure because we're going to be flipping the hat right side out. Now I have quite a bit of um, thread left on my needle so I'm actually just going to leave it attached while we do this. So all we're going to do is we're going into that center back hole here. I'm just going to move the camera out so you can see. And so we're going to start flipping the hat right side out. So I like to start with the liner and I'm just sort of pulling it through. It's a little bit finicky. It's a pretty bulky hat, um, but you want to be careful that you're not splitting stitches or anything. There's your ties that can help to pull through the ear flaps. There's one. It's just like magic. <laughs> I'm going to reach in, grab my other tie. There's the other one, and now this is going to come through really nicely. We're going, trying to work a pom-pom through as well. So, ugh. there it goes. Oh, I should move that. And there you go. So look at that. That's so exciting. All right, so we're just going to stuff that in there. This is so beautiful. I love, love, love this hat. It's so soft and so feminine looking. Okay. So the last thing that we're going to do is just close up this little hole at the back and what we need to do is just, we're going to just turn that fabric in because we don't want a raw edge showing at the back of the hat and we're just going to fold that in and again I'm just going to keep the beige yarn for now, or sorry, the beige um, thread for now. Normally I would use cream so that you wouldn't see it, but just for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to move in so you can see. Okay. And we're just going to go, oops, back and forth. It is so cold in Toronto right now that you have to have lining in your hat. There's just no surviving this cold weather without it. I walk my kids to school every day. And if I don't have a warm hat, it's like I get an ice cream headache without the benefit of the ice cream. It's crazy. I actually get brain freeze. So no more brain freeze for me because I'm going to line all my hats. I'm so happy I finally got this video done. And uh, if there's any other garments 
that you line, um, tell me about it down, down below. All right, and we're at the tail end here. So all we're gonna do is secure our, yarn, our thread. I keep calling it yarn. <laughs> we're gonna secure our thread. Now, when I did my other um, tutorial on how to line a hat, somebody asked if I ever stitch uh, the lining to the top of the hat. I never had, but truthfully, I think it's a fantastic idea. And uh, I have a pom-pom on this one, so I'm not gonna demonstrate, but to do that, you would just thread the needle and yarn through here, bring it up here and take a couple of tucks and uh, it'll be done. So, and that my friends is how you line a hat with ear flaps. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Stay tuned for bloopers and until next time, bye bye. It's only going to open if you've done it, if, you're, if you've been trying to, uh, and you can see here. Sorry, here, there's lots of, oh my God, is there a stretch to this? You've got the stretchy, stretchy uh, part that, that the front and the,